The year was 1997, and that's when I first saw it. When I first saw MAME, or Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator, I was stunned, if not shocked, that I was able to play original arcade games, including my favorite Galaga, on my home PC. I couldn't believe it. Turns out in the end, MAME launched the emulator scene. Soon others followed, including an emulator for the Sega Genesis called Cajun, and another one for the Nintendo 64. But in the end, it was MAME that launched the emulator scene. And even after all these years, in the 2020s, MAME is still considered to be one of the most popular and favorite emulators out there. Fortunately for us, MAME is included in Batocera, but unfortunately, however, many users struggle trying to set up and configure MAME within Batocera, mainly because of the different ROM sets that you can find on the internet, plus along with the sound samples you have to plug in as well. It's a beast. It's a beast that can be tamed. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure MAME for Batocera. Let's do it. Greetings everyone and welcome to Batasetta Nation. So let's get started with MAME. First thing I want to share with you is this wiki page from Batasetta.org and I will be providing all these different links in my video description so don't worry about it. Alright so we have in Batasetta 30 they mentioned that they're using this particular core set okay and they're also using RetroArch version 1.9.0 okay. Uh, in this spot on the wiki page, uh, they talk about the different ROM sets that's out there and that work with Batocera, including the latest ROM set. But you need a really powerful system for that. The ones I'm going to focus on uh, is are these two, MAME 2010 and MAME 2003 Plus. This particular ROM set is for those really not so powerful system, and the default hardware is Pi Zero. Okay, but again, I'm be working on the. I'm going to focus on these two right here. There's also a Thomas Wave and Naomi, but those best work with Flycast. And I'm going to create a separate tutorial on how to get these ROMs working within Batocera. So, again, the main focus is Main 2010 and Main 2003 Plus. Uh, and in fact, I will download both versions so you can see how they both work. So, once again, I'm going to use our little favorite site, Internet Archive, to download uh, these ROM sets. The very first thing you need is BIOS version 30, and I talk about this in my video that's on the channel on how to install Batocera version 30. Okay, so you need this. All right. Then we also have this right here. We got this main 2003, all right, but you notice here it doesn't say plus. If it doesn't say plus, it's not going to work. I mean, some of the games will work, but not all of them. So uh, do not download this ROM set. Okay, so let's close that one out. This is the one you need for main 2003. And uh, most of the RK systems are going to be found in 2003. All right. So let's go ahead and click on show all. Yeah, let's go to ROMs. And you can see there it's rather complete. And it is. I can vouch for all this right here. I downloaded it personally and I installed it. Okay, so these work quite well. All right. I highly encourage you to go ahead and download the torrent. The torrent works as well. Okay. And of course, make sure that when you download this ROM set, that you include the, the samples. The samples are the sound for some particular games that you need to have for them to work. Okay. All right. So that's a ROM. That's one ROM set. So again, I uh, highly encourage you to go ahead and use the torrent, which does work. This is the other ROM set, main 2010. And again, you're going to need a really powerful system. I mean, a lot of the games will work, but some of the more advanced games, including the Naomi and Thomas Wave, are not going to work on a weak system. Um, this one, you have the torrent as well. Okay. Let's go to show all. Uh, you can see here they have one giant 
zip file that you can download. It's going to be a lot slower. You're better off doing it through torrent. Okay, but let me just go ahead and show you the contents. Okay, and this is again, it's complete. And like the, the other version, I can vouch for this one too. This is complete, and you also will find it complete within the torrent. Okay, uh, make sure you also download the sample files again for the sounds. Okay. So again, you can either download it with the zip here on this website or go to the torrent. The torrent again is much faster. Okay, again, I'm gonna download both versions. I want to show you how to install both versions on Batocera. Also, I'm gonna need these files, non-merge CHD files. These are the compressed hard disk images. I also will be providing a link here, okay? You absolutely need these right here. And unfortunately for us, there's no torrent file. So let's go over here and press show all. And you don't need to recopy the samples. You can get those samples from, from here, okay? Uh, go into ROMs, and you can see there all those files that you need to download, okay? It's, they're quite large files. In fact, if you add it all up, it's well over 50, 60 gigabytes worth of, of, of download. That's just a lot. Uh, but you also have to make sure that if you do you go this route, that you got to maintain the same folder structure, okay? So you have to create a folder. You got to call it like this. And then after you download these files, you got to put it into that folder, okay? Same thing for all these files. Right? Create this folder and then download this file and put it in there, okay? Um, again, they're quite extensive. This is very time consuming and then there really is no torrent. Uh, but these do work, and I can vouch for them that they do work. Uh, most of the games that you're going to be looking for can be found in this one right here, maybe 2003 plus. Uh, so you may really not have to go down this route. But if you're absolutely certain that you want to download these or you already have them downloaded, uh, then this is the way you go with, okay? You go with maybe 2010. And of course, you download these compressed hard disk images. All right, once you download everything, uh, then we hook it up and download it to portable hard drive. Okay, so you can see here, I've got everything downloaded. Uh, make sure you unzip everything uh, before we proceed copying everything to about to set up. Because again, the main two folders are the ROMs and, uh, and the samples, all right? And then we also have here 2010 and the ROMs and the samples, all right? Of course, from May 2010, we also have the compressed hard disk images. And there they are. Also have to be unzipped, all right? Okay. Again, we're gonna go ahead and plug this into Batocera. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and install May 2003 Plus. So I assume you have your portable hard drive attached to your Batocera system and a keyboard. Let's go ahead and press F1. Uh, and there's my portable hard drive where I have my main, there's my 2003 plus. Let's go ahead over here first. And let's go ahead and copy the, the samples first, all right? So let's go to BIOS and go to this one, main 2003 plus, okay? And there's the sample. Go ahead and just paste it and overwrite it. Okay, that's done. You can see it's all there. All right. Let's go back to our portal hard drive. Let's go over back to main. And now we can go ahead and copy the ROMs. Copy. Let's go into ROMs over here. Let's go into main fold. Go to 2003. Go ahead and click that. And just go ahead and copy it here. All right. Now, since this is going to take a while for it to copy, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this section. All right. Okay, so we are done. You can see that all the files are there. Okay. It's quite extensive. All right. So let's go ahead and get out of this. All right. So go ahead and press the stop button and go into game settings, update games list. Okay. Main. You should be as main. All right. So there it is. Yeah, you can 
you can see, let's go back over here. You can see that it has 4,859 gigs, quite an extensive list. Let's go ahead and just test out one of these right here. Everything is loading up. Okay, so these controllers are already pre-configured, all right? And the backspace or select button is the coins. And of course the start and then you start playing. You can see it's working quite well. Let's go ahead and test. Um, hold on a second here. You can jump to a particular game by going to the letters, right? So let's go ahead and pick Gallagher because Gallagher has one of those sample sounds. So if Gallagher sounds are working, then we know we got the samples, the correct samples, all right? So let's go ahead there and let's go to Gallagher. There's several sets. Let's go ahead to this one. And you can see there's no error message there. That means we got the correct samples and the sounds should work perfectly. We'll just you can see all the sounds are working just well. We go ahead and die. We'll get shot. Just to test everything. There. You heard the explosion. The sound sound, sound samples work perfectly. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of this. All right. Now let's see. We got here a bunch of them here. We got different sets. We got a Japanese version here. Let's see. You don't want all this stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of set number one. I don't need that one. I can just keep set number two. All right, so go ahead and let's go ahead and get rid of set. To do that, go into Game Options. Go into Edit This Game's Metadata. And from here, you can either delete it or go into Hidden. If you, ha if you can hide it right there and you won't see it no more. Or Again, you can go ahead and delete it. Okay, it's up to you. I want to go ahead and delete it. All right. Try Gallagher Midway Set Two. I can do that. Make sure it works. You see, it's, everything is good. All right. Let's go ahead and get out of this. And let, let's say you go throw your whole list, and you only got one more, and you only got one left. Right. Let's say you want to go ahead and rename that. And of course, go back there. Go into game options and go back into edit. Look okay, at this game is made of data. And right there, you can click on that and you can just do that and you're good to go. And then, of course, save it. And it's safe. All right? So that's how you would go through your list of games here. Let's go into the options. Um, advanced system options. All right, so we have here a different uh, emulator that you can pick. Okay. This one, of course, is 2003 plus. This one here is 2010. Okay. Uh, if you have any problems with this particular ROM set, make sure you have it selected to uh, this one right here. Okay. That should work. I'm going to show you, for the most part, these, um, you can also select that if you want to, all right? A lot of these options don't work in, within main. Um, you also can select this as well, okay? All right, so let's go into decorations. This is one of the settings that you can actually change. Uh, of course, the default is auto, uh, but we got these two here in the bottom, okay? These don't work. Um, 
So these are these are two that you can actually choose. It's on set right now to unglaze, but it's also you can choose glazed. To do that, you're going to have to download it first. So, all right. So let's go into the main menu. Press and start. Go into updates and downloads. Uh, go into content downloader. And right there, bezels right there. Go ahead and click on that, and I'll download. Okay, mine's already downloaded. All right. All right. Then we can go back to select. Go into uh, advanced game, advanced system options. Go into decoration. Let me show you glaze version. Okay, of the same game. It's got that classic retro look. See that? See the difference? See that? Looks very different. Some people like that. I personally don't like it, but that's something you can do. All right. Let's go ahead and get out of there. Change it back. Go back into decorations. And of course, do that. Right. You can also, well, let's go back to decorations. You can also get rid of everything altogether if you want to put none and then you can stretch things if you want to uh, go 16 by 9 let's go ahead and show you that okay up to you what you want. I think it looks better with uh, with uh, the bezels, All right? And of course, yeah, let's go ahead and put it back to auto. All right. And of course, you can also scrape everything. So press start. And go into main menu. And go into scrape and uh, you can choose what you want. There's ones here, okay? And of course, the boxes and all that stuff. And then, of course, go into scrape now. In a little bit, I'm going to show you how it's going to look like after things have been scraped. All right. Okay, now let me show you installing main 2010 ROMs, okay? You can see here that I've got nothing. Okay, it's all gone, all right? And my BIOS sample files are gone, okay? So it's a fresh install. All right, so let's go into my portable drive. Let's go into MAME again. And let's go to 2010. Let's do the samples first. Go ahead and copy. Go into BIOS. Go into, this time, to MAME 2010. And make sure it's empty. Go ahead and paste it. Override it. All right. And let's go ahead on to the ROMs. Go ahead and copy. And you can put it right here. Okay, so this is also going to take quite a while, so I'm going to go ahead uh, and uh, fast forward this section. Okay, so we are done. You can see it's all there. Quite extensive, all right? Now, the next thing we got to do, we got to copy the compressed hard disk image folders okay they're right here I only downloaded some of them okay so select all and go into back to the ROMs go back into main and you gotta do it within the ROMs folder right here okay uh, uh, 
right there. Copy and then, of course, paste it. Okay, this is also going to take a while. So I'm going to fast forward this section as well. It's got 22, at least 22 gigabytes. So I'll fast forward this section as well. See you in a bit. Okay, so we are done. You can see there the folders. So let's go ahead and get out of this. And let's go ahead and press start. Go into game settings, update games list. And let's look for our main. And there it is. And there are the games. All right, so let's go ahead and test. Let's go ahead and test one. Uh, this one. Okay, it's probably not going to work. Okay, it doesn't. So let's go into back or select. Go into advanced system options. Go into emulator. It's set to auto for default, right? Since we have the main 2010. We should choose this one right here. Okay, now it should work. And there it is. You can tell I like space shooters. Those are my type of games. All right. Let's go to Gallagher. Make sure the samples are working fine for this particular ROM set. Uh, go over here, go into back or select, go into select G. And there we go. And let's go ahead and select uh, Gallagher. And select that one. And you can notice that there's no error. So we got the correct samples for this particular ROM set. Everything is working. die there we go you heard that sound it's working fine let's go and get out of this okay now let's go ahead let's go back to pick a game that's got one of those compressed hard disk image files so let's go to area 51 all right there's several of these here. I don't know, let's try with that one. Let it do its thing. You can see that it's working. Much better. So I have to go off the screen to reload. Huh? Ah, died. All right. But you can see there, it's working. Again, that's from one of those uh, compressed hard disk image folders. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and try another game that's one of those compressed hard disk image ones. All right. So let's go over here, jump to letter B. And let's pick uh, Border Down, which is in fact one of those Naomi games. All right, and there it is. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Loads up. Mm. 
Yeah, it is. You can see that stuttering song. You need a really powerful computer to run this thing. You can see it's working, but <laughs> you need a really powerful system. I'm running this on uh, Ryzen 4700U. In fact, my SEMU works runs better than this does. Okay, so you're better off with these type of games. You're better off just running uh, these uh, Naomi Atomic Wave games off Flycast. I'm going to show you that uh, soon. I have to set that up. All right. I just wanted to see, make sure that it does load up, and it does. All right. Let's check out. How many games does this have? It's got 8,779 games. So there's a lot more games than the ROM set from main 2003 plus, okay? Nearly nearly twice as many games. Uh, but again, for some of these uh, compressed hard disk game image, you're gonna need a very powerful system and it may not be worth it, okay? Let me go ahead and I'll show you, uh, once you scrape these games, how they look like. And when you're done scraping, it can look like this. Looks really nice. Pretty cool, huh? Or it could look like this. or like this. All right, so that's how it's done. I hope we found this main tutorial useful. The next two videos I plan to work on is to set up the Naomi Atomic Wave game systems, as well, I'm also working on the SEMU, Wii U uh, emulator. I've got some amazing tips how to get that one up and running, so you don't want to miss that. So if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe, like this video, you found this useful, uh, and I'm gonna see you real soon. Uh, I'm about to set a nation. Thank you for watching, bye.